begin creating the sleeve block. Click the Make Rectangle tool, and in the length, give it a length of 22 inches, and in the width, give it 13 inches, and name your piece Sleeve, and click OK, and click on the piece to bring it down to the working area. Okay, now if we want to hide our grain line, press the F10 key, go to the internal tab, and uncheck grain line. If you want to hide your text, press Control T from the keyboard. Okay, now we will take the draft tool and we will draw a center line. So here I'm going to click on my segment in the proportional field, type in 0.5 and click OK. Now to go straight across the block to the right, press the F2 key and this will bring up your line direction. And going left to right, that will be a zero degree angle. So just click the zero button and the segment is drawn all the way across. Click OK to confirm and then right mouse click to finish drawing. If you want to see the internal line length, you press Shift F8. Now exit the tool and hold down the control key and Put your cursor where the ruler is from the left edge of the screen and drag a guideline and place it right on the point which will be our offset from elbow point. Okay, now I'm going to turn on my point numbers by pressing Control K. Control K, hide and show the grading point numbers. And what I need to do is take the move point tool and we're now going to move point number one and point number three inward. So I can click on the point, raise this up, put the zero on the X, and I'm going to raise this two inches. So I type a positive two. And for point three, I'm going to move it downward. So again, we put zero, and in the Y, we do minus two. Click OK, and then the points have been moved. Okay, now we'll go into the drafting tool and we'll draft our reference lines for the sleeve cap. So begin at point four and draw a straight line to point six and right mouse click. Then draw another line starting at point six and finish at point eight. Click OK, right mouse click. Then we exit the tool. So we have two individual segments. Make sure you draw two individual segments and not one. You'll see why in the next step. We need to divide this segment up equally into four parts. So to divide our segment up equally into four parts, make sure the internal segment is selected. Then go to the internals menu and choose slit contour segment. For the slit type, choose point. We're going to add points and we're going to divide this into we're going to add three points to divide it up into the four parts and make sure you put a check mark on equal distance. Click OK and the points have been added. So do the same for the other side. Select the segment, go to internals, choose slit contour segment. Number of slits will be three, which is three points by equal distance and click OK. So you can see our segment is now broken up into four sections. Now we're going to rotate this block counterclockwise and zoom all to see the whole piece so we can visualize this vertically. Okay, now we're ready to add some buttons relative to the points that we added. The easiest way to do this is first select the segment and rotate, click rotate to horizontal tool. Then zoom in closer. And now we will take the button tool and we'll mark our first reference point vertically from this point. You're going to type in 5 eighths of an inch and then click create. And for the second point, type in a distance of 3 sixteenths and create. And 
the last point will go below our reference line, so we need a negative value. So in the Y, we type in minus 3 eighths of an inch. Click OK and create. So these are our reference points for our back sleeve cap. Now, if I go back to home, zoom all, I'm going to do the other side, select the segment first, click rotate to horizontal, and then zoom in, and let's take the button tool again and add our points for the front side. So for the first point, we are going to do three quarters of an inch, and the second point, will be 3 sixteenths of an inch. And again, the last side, the last point, will go below. So we need minus one half inch. And we are finished adding our reference points. Okay, now we're ready to create our sleeve cap. So rotate your piece back to vertical and go to the file menu, choose merge, and from our rulers file, select the French curve ruler and bring it down to the working area. Next, we need to place our ruler at the cap and we may have to pivot. Let's zoom in closer to take a look. Make sure that the line on the ruler is going through the first two reference points. And once they're placed, then we can select the segment on that ruler, go to the segment menu, and choose copy. Now, if I zoom out a little bit, we can move the ruler away. And before I paste this, we need to change our start point. Right now, the start point is down here at the bottom. So if I click the start point button, that changes it to the cap point. So now I select my cap point, and I want to paste this as an internal. So click the internal button and then close. Okay, now I need to flip my ruler. So first I'm going to flip it horizontal and then I click the flip vertical button and then bring the ruler into place. Make sure it's going through our guideline. And now we need to select the segment on the ruler to copy. So I select my segment again, we go to the segment menu, choose copy. Then I can move the ruler away. And I want to paste it between these two points proportionally. So my start point is here, so I can say internal proportional and select my two points. And if I need to, I can come in and zoom in, take my move point tool and true this up a little bit, bring that segment a little closer to the reference point. And of course I need to join this segment. Let me close this window. So I'm going to take the Join Contours tool and I'm going to click on the common point twice to join it together as one. Then exit. Go back to your selection tool. If I double click, convert this to a curve point and on gradient. This will help blend my shape. Okay, now that we have our cap segment, we're going to select our segment and copy that segment. Go to the segment menu, choose copy, and click the flip X button. So we flip our segment horizontally and then paste this proportionally, internal proportional, and click from both first point to the last point, and then close the dialog. Okay, now we can zoom in and take our move proportional tool and click twice on the point, and let's true up our cap segment so that it goes through our reference point. So I'm taking each point that's close to the reference point and clicking twice on it. And now our shape is trued up, so let's go back to full view and exit the tool. And now we can move on to the elbow. So taking our draft tool, let's zoom in here, 
and we have a reference point for the elbow. We're going to draw a straight line. Again, I press the F2 to go straight across. This will be 180 degrees. Click OK, and then right mouse click. Now, exit the tool, and now we need to extend this internal segment a quarter of an inch. So if we click on the end point, and click the extend internal tool, type in an amount of a quarter inch, and click OK. Okay, so now take the add point tool and add a point right to the center of our LO drafting line. Then if we zoom in a little closer, we can take our draft tool and start your draft from the end of the LO segment and draw to our point at the bicep. Okay, now we're ready to go back to the Add Point tool and we're going to define our dart intake. So, along our segment, we're going to add a point one inch away from the next point, make it a grading point. Then go back to the Draft tool and we'll now draw our second dart leg starting at the center point. And then, I can zoom in a little closer, make sure you pass through the first point of the dart leg and make sure that the distance is equal to the first. If you want to see your, your distances, press Shift F8. So we need to draw a line here that's exactly 2.921 inches. So I click on the point and in the distance field, we type in that amount. This will be 2.921 inches. And then right mouse click to finish. Okay, if I zoom out and take the Add Point tool, I need to add a point on the opposite side of the sleeve, which matches size. So this will be a distance of 4.31 inches. Now, if I zoom in, and at the wrist level, what I'm going to do is now draw a segment which is equal to this side of the sleeve. So starting at the first point of the dart intake, I'm drawing my segment and I need to go three quarters of an inch inside. So on the two segment tab, tap in three quarters of an inch. Then from point in your distance field, make it exactly 8.942 inches. Then click OK and right mouse click. If you want to confirm that distance, press Shift F8 to see the internal line length. Okay, now bring a guideline down from the top edge and place it right at the wrist level. Then go back to your drafting tool, and now we need to draw a line that's equal in measurement to our wrist circumference, which needs to be 9 inches. So I'm going to start here. Click OK. I'm going to click right on this guideline because I need to go past the point. So if I click right on the guideline and in the distance field, type in 9 inches. Click OK and then right mouse click. My segment is now drawn. Now the final segment to draw is from the wrist to the elbow. And when we're finished, we can zoom out, press the home key, and now we're ready to build our sleeve, extract the new piece from our draft. Okay, to trace out the new piece, take the trace segments tool and click in the middle of each segment that we want to trace, going in a clockwise direction. Here I'll start on this segment since it's an external contour. You can see it light up in color. And just go around and click in the middle of each segment. You see a red X where it defines each segment that's being highlighted. And here I'm taking my cap segment. And finally, it's 
going to ask to finish. Just say yes. And you can see on the piece bar that it's been added to the stop. Just sit it on top, so just drag out the new piece. And for the internals that carry over, just take the Select Internals tool and click and drag a window over all the internals. It'll be highlighted as a group and use the Delete key. And we are finished.